All right, we got about 750 rounds through this thing or so. My magazines and guns are all acting up. It's gonna be the first time we've taken it apart. And I can tell just by rattling it's full of crap. Press it like that. Comes apart just as easy as it did when it was brand new. Open the clamshells. You can see it's really not too terribly dirty. I assumed it would be nastier than that, but you can see. You can see the like that. The half shells are still clean, so you can tell the O rings are doing their job. The core, you can see a bunch of junk built up in the blast baffle area around the opening. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to get it out in the sunlight. I'll take some better pictures of it later. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. It's not 3,000 rounds of nasty, but it is pretty gross. It's tons of lead built up in there. Looks like clay. Big chunks of junk that's come off of it. Lead. This is lead. The carbon all meshed together. It breaks it up. Hmm. You can see how well it held up. So we had it pretty hot. Shooting pretty continuously through it. Had the, the Ruger BX-25 magazine. It, uh... We haven't used it much. I just bought it uh, two days ago, and uh, it's I'm really unimpressed with it. It's just reminds me of the Ram line and the the Hot Lips or whatever junk that's on the market forever. Uh, the stupid uh, constant force springs they use in them are they wear out. I mean, it's not it doesn't have enough force to feed properly. We got this one to work pretty well with 20 rounds in a magazine. Any more than that, and it was constantly jamming up, and I don't know that we even at 20, we had a whole mag that ran without any failures. Uh, the two rotary mags I had, I've had forever. They seem to work pretty well. After they get dirty, they're the same way. About halfway through, they're jamming up. So, anyway, I'll get some pictures of this, and you'll be able to see. It's had a pretty interesting little torture test of this, if you can call it that. And didn't do get too nasty, but... Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, thanks for watching.